You see, the power of a winning mindset is not just some feel-good phrase. It's a transformative force that can change the entire trajectory of your life. When you truly believe in yourself and your ability to overcome any obstacle, you unlock a reservoir of strength and resilience that you never knew you had. I remember a time in my own life when I was facing what seemed like an insurmountable challenge. I had just lost my job. My savings were running low, and I didn't know how I was going to provide for my family. But in that moment of despair, I heard a still small voice inside me saying, you are going to win. And I made a decision right then and there to believe it. It wasn't easy. There were days when I wanted to give up, when I questioned whether I had what it takes, but I held on to that declaration like a lifeline. I woke up every morning and said to myself, I'm going to win. And little by little, day by day, I started to see things turn around. You see, when you embrace a winning mindset, you start to attract winning opportunities. You start to see possibilities where others see dead ends. You start to take bold actions that move you closer to your goals. And most importantly, you start to inspire others with your unshakable faith. But let me ask you a question. What would happen if every single person in this room today made the decision to adopt a winning mindset? What kind of unstoppable force would we become? What kind of impact could we have on our families, our communities, our world? You see, the truth is that we were all created for greatness. We were all born with unique gifts and talents that are meant to be shared with the world. But too often, we let fear and doubt hold us back. We let our past failures define us. We let the opinions of others dictate our worth. But today, I want to challenge you to break free from those limiting beliefs. I want to challenge you to look in the mirror and say, I am going to win, even if every circumstance in your life is telling you otherwise. Because when you do, when you make that declaration with unwavering conviction, something... You see, the Bible tells us that life and death are in the power of the tongue. That means that the words we speak over ourselves have the ability to shape our reality. When you declare, I am going to win, you are not just saying some empty word. You are speaking life into your situation. You are calling forth the abundance and victory that God has already prepared for you. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but what if I fail? What if I don't see the results I'm hoping for? And to that, I say, failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is a part of success. Every great achiever, every successful person you admire has faced failure at some point in their journey. The difference is that they didn't let that failure define them. They got back up, dusted themselves off, and kept moving forward with even greater determination. And that's what I want for you today. I want you to know that no matter how many times you've been knocked down, no matter how many disappointments you faced, you have the power to get back up and keep fighting. You have the power to declare, I am going to win, even in the face of overwhelming. But it starts with a choice. It starts with a decision to believe in yourself and your God-given potential. It starts with a willingness to take bold action, even when you're scared. And it starts with surrounding yourself with people who will support you, encourage you, and hold you accountable to your dreams. Because here's the thing. When you have a winning mindset, you don't just win for yourself. You win for your family. You win for your community. You win for all the people who are watching you, looking to you for inspiration and hope. You become a beacon of light in a world that so desperately needs it. So I ask you again, what would happen if every single person in this room today made the decision to adopt a winning mindset. What kind of ripple effect would that have on the world around us? You see, I believe that we are standing on the brink of a breakthrough. I believe that there is a generation rising up that is tired of settling for mediocrity, tired of playing small, tired of letting fear and doubt dictate their lives. And I believe that you are a part of that generation. So today I want to invite you to take a stand. I want to invite you to declare with boldness and conviction, I'm going to win. I want to invite you to step into the fullness of your God-given potential and start living the life you were created for. Because when you do, 
When you embrace a winning mindset and start taking bold action, there's no limit to what you can achieve. There is no obstacle too big, no dream too audacious, no challenge too daunting. You have the power within you to overcome anything that stands in your way. So let me leave you with this final thought. The world needs winners. The world needs people who are willing to stand up, step out, and lead the way. The world needs people who are willing to believe in themselves and their ability to make a difference. And that person is you. You are a winner. You are a champion. You are forced to be reckoned with. And when you embrace that truth and start living from a place of victory, there is nothing that can stop you. So go out there and win. Win for yourself, win for your family, win for your community, win for the world. Because when you do, when you embrace a winning mindset and start living your best life, you become a catalyst for change. You become a shining example of what is possible when we dare to believe in ourselves and our God-given potential. So declare it with me now. I am going to win. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you believe it. Say it until it becomes the very fabric of your being. And then go out there and make it happen. Go out there and start living the life you were created for. Go out there and start making a difference in the world around you. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, that all sounds great, but what about the obstacles? What about the challenges that seem to come out of nowhere and threaten to derail our progress? And to that I say, those obstacles are not there to stop you. They are there to strengthen you to grow you, to prepare you for the incredible destiny that God has in store for you. You see, the road to success is never a straight line. It's filled with twists and turns, ups and downs, moments of triumph and moments of struggle. But it's in those moments of struggle when we're faced with seemingly insurmountable odds that we have the opportunity to tap into a power greater than ourselves. The power is the power of faith. It's the unshakable belief that no matter what we're going through, no matter how dark the night may seem, God is with us. He is for us and he has a plan and a purpose for our lives that is greater than anything we could ever imagine. I think of the story of David and Goliath. Here was a young shepherd boy armed with nothing but a sling and a few stones facing off against a giant warrior who had been trained for battle from his youth. By all accounts, David didn't stand a chance but he had something that Goliath didn't have. He faith in a God who's bigger than any giant, stronger than any enemy, and more powerful than any obstacle. And with that faith, David was able to do the impossible. He was able to defeat Goliath with a single stone, not because of his own strength or skill, but because he trusted in the strength and skill of his God. And that same faith is available to you today. No matter what giant you're facing, no matter what obstacle is standing in your way, you have access to a power that can move mountains and part seas. You have access to a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that you could ever ask or imagine. But faith alone is not enough. Faith without action is dead. And that's where determination comes in. You see, when you couple your faith with a relentless determination to keep pushing forward, no matter what, you become unstoppable. I love the story of Abraham Lincoln. Here was a man who faced failure after failure, setback after setback on his journey to becoming one of the greatest presidents in American history. He lost eight elections, twice failed in business, and suffered a nervous breakdown that left him bedridden for six months. But through it all, he never gave up. He never lost sight of the vision that God had placed in his heart. And that's what I want for you today. I want you to have a vision for your life that is so big, so audacious, so incredible that it scares you a little bit. I want you to have a vision that keeps you up at night, that drives you to take action even when you don't feel like it, that pushes you to keep going even when everyone else tells you to quit. Because here's the thing, the obstacles you're facing right now are not there to stop you. They are there to prepare you. They are there to strengthen you. They are there to teach you the lessons you need to learn in order to become the person God created you to be. And when you approach those obstacles with faith and determination, when you refuse to give up no matter how hard things get, 
when you keep pushing forward, even when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, something incredible happens. You start to see miracles. You start to see doors open that you never even knew existed. You start to see God move in ways that you never could have imagined. But it all starts with a choice. It starts with a decision to trust God, even when you can't see the way. It starts with a determination to keep moving forward, even when every fiber of your being wants to quit. It starts with a willingness to face your fears head on, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. And when you make that choice, when you step out in faith and refuse to let the obstacles in your path define you, you tap into a power that is greater than anything this world has to offer. You tap into the power of the God who created the universe, the God who parted the Red Sea, the God who raised Jesus from the dead. And with that power, there is nothing you cannot do. There is no dream too big, no vision too audacious, no obstacle too great. You have the power within you to overcome anything that stands in your way, to achieve anything you set your mind to, to become anything God has called you to be. And it also means being willing to let go of the people and influences in your life that are holding you back. The toxic relationships, the negative self-talk, the limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck in a cycle of fear and doubt. It means being willing to set boundaries, to say no to the things that don't align with your values and your goals, and to surround yourself with people and experiences that will help you grow and thrive. I know it's not always easy. I know there will be times when you feel lonely, when you wonder if you're on the right path, when you question whether you have what it takes to achieve your dreams. But I want to remind you that you are never alone, that God is with you every step of the way, guiding you, strengthening you, and leading you towards the incredible future He has in store for you. I want to encourage you to keep seeking out those people and experiences that will help you grow and thrive, to keep attending events and conferences that will inspire you and connect you with like-minded individuals, to keep reading books and listening to podcasts that will challenge you to think differently and expand your soul. I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you to take a step of faith. I want to challenge you to look at the obstacles in your path, not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones. I want to challenge you to trust God with your dreams, your goals, your very life, knowing that He has a plan and a purpose for you that is greater than anything you could ever imagine. And I want to leave you with this final thought. The journey to success is not always easy. There will be times when you feel like giving up, when you question whether you have what it takes, when you wonder if it's all worth it in the end. But in those moments, I want you to remember this. You're not alone. You have a God who loves you, who believes in you, who is cheering you on every step of the way. And you have a community of people around you who are rooting for you, who are praying for you, who are standing with you in faith and determination. So don't give up. Don't lose heart. Don't let the obstacles in your path define you. Keep pushing forward. Keep trusting God. Keep believing in the incredible future He has in store for you. Because when you do... When you combine your faith with a relentless determination to succeed, there is nothing you cannot accomplish. There is no limit to the impact you can have on the world around you. There is no end to the amazing things God can do through a life that is fully surrendered to Him. So go out there and face your giants. Go out there and chase your dream. Go out there and become the incredible person God created you to be. And know that every step of the way, but He is with you, He's for you, and He has a plan and a purpose for your life that is greater than anything you could ever imagine. Now, as you step out in faith and determination, there's another key ingredient to embracing a winning mindset, and that's gratitude. You see, when you approach life with a grateful heart, when you choose to focus on the blessings in your life rather than the challenges, something powerful happens. Your perspective shifts, your attitude changes. And you start to attract more of the very things you're grateful for. I remember a time in my own life when I was going through a particularly difficult season. I had just lost a loved one. And I was struggling to find my way forward. But in the midst of my grief, 
I made a conscious decision to start each day by writing down three things I was grateful for. And as I did, just something amazing started to happen. I started to see the world through a different lens. I started to notice the little blessings that had always been there, but that I had been too busy or too distracted to see. And as I focused on those blessings, as I chose to cultivate a heart of gratitude, I started to feel a sense of peace and joy that I hadn't experienced in a long time. I started to see opportunities where before I had only seen obstacles. I started to feel a renewed sense of purpose and passion for the life God had called me to live. And that's the power of gratitude. It has the ability to transform even the darkest of circumstances into opportunities for growth and transformation. It has the power to shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, from what we can't do to what we can do, from what we've lost to what we've gained. But gratitude isn't always easy. In a world that is constantly telling us we need more, that we should want more, that we deserve more, it can be hard to step back and appreciate what we already have. It can be hard to find joy in the simple things, to be content with where we are on the journey. That's why it's so important to make gratitude a daily practice, to wake up each morning and take a few moments to reflect on the blessings in your life, to look for the good in every situation, even the challenging ones, to choose to focus on what you have rather than what you lack. And as you do, as you cultivate a heart of gratitude and a positive outlook, you'll start to see your life transform in ways you never could have imagined. You'll start to attract more of the very things you're grateful for. You'll start to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. You'll start to feel a sense of joy and purpose that comes from living a life that is aligned with your values and your passions. I love the story of the Apostle Paul. He was a man who had every reason to be bitter and resentful. He had been imprisoned, beaten, and persecuted for his faith. He had suffered more than most of us could ever imagine. And yet, in the midst of his trials, he chose to focus on the blessings in his life. He chose to cultivate a heart of gratitude and a positive outlook that allowed him to find joy and purpose, even in the darkest of circumstances. In fact, some of Paul's most powerful writings came from the times when he was in prison. It was in those moments when he was stripped of everything else that he was able to see the true value of his relationship with God. It was in those moments that he was able to find a deep sense of peace and contentment that transcended his circumstances. And that's what I want for you today. I want you to have a faith that is unshakable, a peace that surpasses understanding, a joy that is not dependent on your circumstances. I want you to wake up each day with a heart full of gratitude, a mind full of positive thoughts, and a spirit that is ready to take on whatever challenges come your way. But it starts with a choice. It starts with a decision to for focus on the good in your life, to cultivate a heart of gratitude, to choose joy and positivity even in the face of adversity. It starts with a willingness to trust God in the midst of the storm, to believe that he has a plan and a purpose for your life that is greater than anything you could ever imagine. And when you make that choice, when you choose to live a life of gratitude and positivity, something amazing starts to happen. You start to see the world in a different light. You start to attract more of the very things you're focusing on. You start to become a magnet for blessing and abundance in every area of your life. I've seen it happen time and time again in my own life and in the lives of countless others. When we choose to focus on the good, when we choose to cultivate a heart of gratitude, when we choose to believe that God is working all things together for our good, miracles start to happen. Us doors start to open. Opportunities start to arise. And we start to see the incredible plans and purposes that God has for our lives unfold in ways we never could have imagined. So I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you to make gratitude a daily practice. I want to challenge you to start each day by focusing on the blessings in your life, no matter how small they may seem. I want to challenge you to look for the good in every situation, even the challenging ones. And I want to remind you that you are not alone on this journey. You have a God who loves you, who is for you, who is working all things together for your good. 
You have a community of people around you who are cheering you on, who are praying for you, who are standing with you in faith and gratitude. So don't give up. Don't lose heart. Don't let the challenges of this world steal your joy or your peace. Keep focusing on the good. Keep cultivating a heart of gratitude. Keep believing that God has incredible plans and purposes for your life. And as you do, watch as your life starts to transform in ways you never could have imagined. Watch as doors start to open, as opportunities start to arise, as blessings start to flow in every area of your life. Watch as you start to become a magnet for all the good things that God has in store for you. Because when you live a life of gratitude and positivity, when you choose to focus on the blessings rather than the challenges, when you trust in a God who is always working for your good, there is no limit to what you can achieve. There is no obstacle too big, no dream too audacious, no challenge too great. You have the power within you to live a life of joy, purpose, and abundance. You have the power within you to overcome any obstacle, to achieve any dream, to become all that God has called you to be. And it all starts with a grateful heart and a positive outlook. So go out there and live with gratitude. Go out there and chase your dreams with a heart full of joy and positivity. Go out there and trust that God is working all things together for your good, even when you can't see it or understand it. And know that as you do, as you embrace a life of gratitude and positivity, you are becoming a beacon of light in a world that so desperately needs it. You are becoming a living testament to the goodness and faithfulness of God. And you are inspiring others to do the same. As you cultivate a heart of gratitude and a positive outlook, there's another essential key to embracing a winning mindset, and that's surrounding yourself with success and support. You see, we become like the people we spend the most time with. We start to adopt their habits, their attitudes, their beliefs. And if we're not careful, we can find ourselves being pulled down by negativity, doubt, and fear. That's why it's so important to be intentional about the people we allow into our inner circle. To seek out mentors, role models, and friends who will encourage us, challenge us, and support us on our journey to becoming all that God has called us to be. I think of the story of Moses. Here was a man who had been called by God to lead the Israelites out of slavery and into the promised land, but he didn't do it alone. He had his brother Aaron by his side, speaking on his behalf and supporting him every step. He had Joshua, his faithful assistant and eventual successor, learning from his example and carry on his legacy. And he had a community of people around him, lifting him up in prayer and encouraging him when the going got tough. And that's what I want for you today. I want you to have a community of people around you who will stand with you, pray for you, and believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself. I want you to have mentors and role models who will challenge you to dream bigger, to take bold steps of faith, and to become all that God has called you to be. I want you to have friends who will celebrate your victories, comfort you in your losses, and remind you of your worth and value when the world tries to tear you down. But building that kind of community doesn't happen by accident. It takes intention, effort, and a willingness to step outside of your comfort zone. It means being willing to ask for help when you need it, to be vulnerable and authentic with others, and to invest time and energy into cultivating deep, meaningful relationships. Perspective, to keep surrounding yourself with success and support, even when it feels uncomfortable or scary. Because here's the thing, when you surround yourself with people who are winning, who are living out their God-given purpose and potential, it starts to rub off on you. You start to see what's possible. You start to believe in yourself and your own ability to achieve great things. You start to rise to the level of those around you, and before you know it, you're winning too. I've seen it happen time and time again in my own life and in the lives of countless others. When we surround ourselves with people who are passionate, purposeful, and committed to making a difference in the world, we can't help but be inspired to do the same. When we have mentors and role models who are living out their faith with boldness and conviction, we start to see what that looks like in our own lives. And when we have a community 
of people around us who are cheering us on, praying for us, and believing in us. We find the courage and strength to keep moving forward, even when the going gets tough. So I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you to take a look at the people and influences in your life and ask yourself if they are helping you become the person God has called you to be. I want to challenge you to seek out mentors, role models, and friends who will encourage you, challenge you, and support you on your journey. And I want to challenge you to let go of anything that is holding you back, whether it's a toxic relationship, a negative mindset, or a limiting belief. Because when you do, when you surround yourself with success and support, when you cultivate a community of people who are committed to living out their God-given purpose and potential, there is no limit to what you can achieve. There is no dream too big, no obstacle too great, no challenge too daunting. You have the power within you to become all that God has called you to be. You have the potential to make a difference in this world, to leave a legacy of faith and impact that will outlive you. And it all starts with the people you choose to surround yourself with. So go out there and build that community. Go out there and seek out those mentors and role models who will inspire you and challenge you to grow. Go out there and cultivate deep, meaningful relationships with people who will stand with you, pray for you, and believe in you every step of the way. And as you do, watch as your life starts to change in ways you never could have imagined. Watch as you start to see what's possible as you start to believe in yourself and your own ability to achieve great things. Watch as you start to become the person God has called you to be, living out your purpose with passion, joy, and impact. Because when you surround yourself with success and support, when you cultivate a community of people who are committed to living out their faith and their purpose, there's nothing you cannot achieve. There is no limit to the impact you can have on this world. And there is no end to the amazing things God can do through a life that is fully surrendered to Him. So keep seeking out those people and experiences that will help you grow and thrive. Keep building that community of success and support. And keep believing in the incredible plans and purposes that God has for your life. Because when you do, when you embrace a winning mindset and surround yourself with people who are committed to doing the same, you become unstoppable. You become a force for good in this world, a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope and inspiration to all those around you. And that, my friends, is what it means to truly win, not just in the eyes of the world, but in the eyes of the God who created you, who loves you, and who has an amazing plan and purpose for your life. So go out there and win. Go out there and become all that God has called you to be. And know that every step of the way, you are surrounded by a community of people who are cheering you on, praying for you, and believing in you every step of the way. Victory is not just a destination. It's a journey, an ongoing process of growth, transformation, and fulfillment. As we wrap up our time together, I want to ask you a question. What does living your best life truly mean to you? What does it look like to claim your victory? Now, take a moment to reflect on that. Because understanding your vision is the first step toward making it a reality. The truth is, claiming your victory starts with the decision to live intentionally. It's about waking up each day with purpose, with a clear understanding of your goals, and a heart filled with gratitude and positivity. It's about being proactive rather than reactive, choosing to navigate the challenges of life with resilience and faith. As we talked about earlier, and surrounding yourself with success and support is crucial. When you have a solid foundation of encouragement and inspiration, you can rise above the noise of negativity and doubt that often surrounds us. The people you choose to spend your time with can either propel you forward or hold you back. So ask yourself, are the people in your life lifting you higher? It's essential to surround yourself with those who ignite your passion who believe in your dreams, and who challenge you to be the best version of yourself. You are meant for greatness. You are capable of achieving amazing things. But you must first believe that you deserve it. Claiming your victory is about stepping into that belief and owning it wholeheartedly. It's about recognizing 
that you have the power to shape your reality, to create the life you've always dreamed of, and to impact the world around you in powerful ways. But claiming your victory also requires taking action. It's not enough to simply envision your best life. You must also be willing to put in the work to take the necessary steps to turn your dreams into reality. This is where faith and determination come into play. When you face obstacles and you will remember that each challenge is an opportunity for growth. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it to fuel your journey forward. I think of Thomas Edison, who famously said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Edison encountered countless setbacks during his quest to invent the light bulb, but he didn't let those failures define him. Instead, he used them as stepping stones toward his ultimate victory. When you encounter difficulties, remind yourself that you are closer to your goal when you may realize. Keep pushing forward, keep believing, and keep taking action. And as you take those steps, remember to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Each step forward is a testament to your commitment and determination. Acknowledge your progress and allow yourself to feel the joy that comes from moving closer to your... Celebrating your victories not only boosts your confidence but also reinforces the belief that you are capable of achieving even greater things. Living your best life also involves a mindset of abundance. When you approach life with a mindset that there is more than enough for everyone, you open yourself up to receiving the blessings that are already on their way to you. This mindset shifts your focus from scarcity to abundance from fear to faith. Thought you begin to see opportunities instead of limitations, and you track more of what you consciously seek. Think about a, how often do we get caught up in a scarcity mentality, worrying about what we don't have instead of appreciating what we do. The more you practice gratitude and focus on abundance, the more you'll find that the universe reflects that back to you. You'll start to notice the incredible opportunities around you, the supportive people who want to help you succeed, and the resources that are available to you. As you claim your victory, remember that it's not just for you. Your journey is a source of inspiration for others. When you live boldly, pursue your dreams, and overcome challenges, you become a beacon of hope for those around you. You show them what's possible. When you believe in yourself and take action, your victories can empower others to step into their own greatness. So as you move forward, Consider how you can use your journey to lift others up. How can you share your story, your lessons learned, and your victories to inspire those who may be struggling? Whether it's through mentorship, sharing your experiences, or simply being a positive influence in someone's life, remember that your victory is also a collective one. As you rise, you have the power to elevate others along the way. Ultimately, Living your best life is about aligning your actions with your values. It's about making choices that reflect who you are at your core and staying true to your authentic self. When you live with intention and integrity, you'll find that your path becomes clearer and the journey becomes more fulfilling. As we conclude our time together, I want to encourage you to take a moment to visualize your victory. See it in your mind's eye. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Allow that vision to fill you with excitement and determination. Hold on to that image as you move forward, using it as a guiding light on your journey. Claiming your victory is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process of growth, learning, and transformation. It's about embracing the journey, celebrating the small wins, and staying committed to the vision that God has placed in your heart. And as you do, remember that you are supported by a loving creator who believes in you, who has equipped you with everything you need to succeed, and who walks with you every step of the way. So go out there and live your best life. Claim your victory with confidence and courage, knowing that you have the power within you to achieve anything you set your mind to. Surround yourself with success and support, embrace gratitude and positivity, and take bold action toward your dreams. A world is waiting for you to shine, to share your gifts, and to make a difference. 
Your journey is just beginning, and I can't wait to see all that you will accomplish. Remember, you're not just a conqueror. You are a champion. You are designed for greatness. And as you step into that truth, there is no limit to what you can achieve.